Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about certain tricks on sales visualization and that too without the help of charts. We will be using various techniques such as conditional formatting, sparkline and repeat formula. So let me begin. First, I have a list of people and the sales number against them. Now, I wish to show these numbers through a data bar or heat map. So let us see how is this done. I choose all the individual sales numbers. Then I go to home and from home I'll be going straight to conditional formatting. Now once I go to conditional formatting, I choose data bars and there are various formats from which you can choose. Now you might ask me, hey, I got this done, but what if I want to hide all the numbers? Well, simply coloring the font color white will not help you. So, what you do is right click, go to format cells and then you might go to custom option and at that point you might write three times semicolon. It's a hidden trick which allows you to make the font invisible. There you go. And if the numbers change, you will see the impacting the data bars. Why don't I try the same trick in the heat map? Let me choose the entire list of numbers. As usual. Let me go to home tab, then let me go to conditional formatting and then let me choose color scales. Now there are various options, let me choose one of them and just in case you want to hide the font, same trick repeated again. You right click, go to format cells. The shortcut key of this option is control and digit one. Once I press that, then I go to custom and then I put three times semicolon. Once that is done, I click on OK and there you go. As the numbers change, so will the data bar and heat map. Next, I have a group of numbers which spans from January to June and I want to see a quick trend. I choose a blank cell, I then go to insert and within that, I look for something called spark lines. Now there are two variations we are going to try. First is line and the other is column. So let me see how it works. I click on line and then I choose January to June and be aware I am not choosing the entire table just the horizontal row that's it once I do so I click on OK and whoa I get a trend inside a cell then I might click on high point I might also add up low point now where is this the minute you are on a cell which has a spark line it will give you this tool of spark line from where you can choose high point and low point now, you can also drag the cell down and if you don't like it, you may copy the blank cell adjoining to that one and then paste on top of it. Isn't that easy? But hey, wait, I can copy the same group of cells and paste in the next one and in that I can go back to sparkline and change the variation to column. So you saw, you can toggle between line and column from these tools and it will give you these two variations. Next. I go to REPT and it's a very unique formula combination. If you're getting a score of list of people on a scale of 1 to 10 or 1 to 5, I want to have some kind of a formation like this. In case somebody's score jumps from 3 to 10, you see the variation. Well, to do so, you will have to use the function REPT, right? What is REPT? It means repeat something. So that something can be a letter X and how many times do you want to repeat? Let's say five. I close the bracket and I press enter. But hey, in place of X, I can also give capital I. See? And in place of that five, I can refer to the cell which contains the digit one. Enter. So now I'm going to make it bold and then I'm going to copy paste the formula down. So basically you now have data bar like formation, but using the function REPT. Hope you understood these tricks and remember I showed you one hidden trick and that was regarding format cells with triple semicolon. 